Hi, Chris Monterrey here with Jamie Davis, the pod medic, and we're here at EMS World Expo 2012 in New Orleans. New Orleans, baby. Yeah, it's been a good time. Uh, it's last been a day. Great time. I'm very, I'm very excited to to be here, and uh, it's been a really good show. I've been very impressed with how many people are here, and just kind of the energy and excitement of this show. For there's been so much going on. I mean, the focus, I think, you know, if I were to pull one thing out of this conference, has really been the focus on the science of resuscitation. But and you'd think, oh wow, science, boring. No, there has been so much buzz, excitement, energy, and and people really passionate about. Getting back into the job of saving lives. You mean Tom Boothley? Well, Tom, uh. <laughs> Tom Boothley primarily, but I'll tell you, everybody he talks to is just as fired up, mm -hmm. and I think that's one of the things uh, Dr. Rock had to had to do with that in his keynote when he when he talked about what they were doing with AMR. That's right. Well, and I think it's not only that, but it's the uh, kind of this buzz that we're kind of moving into the next generation with. EMS and whatever it is, EMS 2.0, whatever you want to call it, um, it has to do with just more than social media, being on the internet, but really this connectivity and this ability to quickly share resources and ideas. And, and a responsibility to community health in a way that we've mm. never seen before. I mean, the things you're doing with community paramedicine, uh, the, the things different agencies around are doing with interacting and becoming more a part of the healthcare system, which is what we should be doing. Right. Well, and what we've been talking about for years. Yeah. Um, it's neat to see that those people that are that were on the fringe me for, for a while have, have started coming back together and we now say you know this is kind of what we should have always been, always been doing it's not just about getting people to the hospital but about keeping them in their home when it's appropriate and a lot of people here a lot of people couldn't make it because of the storm but that hasn't deflated the the energy here uh, I, I don't think at all just a f few fewer people but we're gonna have to make sure they get back to here next year 2013 again we're in Las Vegas I know and uh, we were talking to Scott Cravens yesterday and he said you know um, everybody that was uh, impacted by the storm they've issued credit for next year and I, I was blown away I'm like that, that's that, very cool well very that's cool. the kind of people that's why we like that's associating right. ourselves with this conference it's the kind of people they are and I think that you should take that opportunity to plan for next year's conference in Las Vegas because this conference was exciting. I can't wait to see where the science for resuscitation and all the other initiatives that started here end up by this time next year. Absolutely. Well, I will see you next year in Las Vegas, sir. Yeah, and everybody, I want to make sure you check out all of our other content that we have recorded. We are doing a a dozen or 14 episodes in the podcast studio, plus all of our short segments, all available for you at mediccast.tv or over at the ProMed Network at promednetwork.com. And uh, for Chris Montero, the Geeky Medic, I'm Jamie Davis, the Pod Medic, and I'd like to encourage all of you to be here next year for EMS World Expo 2013.